Well, hello, Menorca Navy. Pretty big day out at the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse site where the dolly still remains trapped in a good bit of that bridge debris. And today, the Chessie was back out on the site, the Chesapeake 1000, that is the heavy lifting crane on site, 1,000 ton capacity. And those guys were working on a pretty, pretty difficult piece. Um, we're going to get to that and show you guys what's going on with that. But a lot was going on. Uh, the Cashman clam dredge was on the way in. We had uh, the presence of the guys protecting the, the safety zone, and they were out. We had a different group out today than what we had yesterday. Of course, those guys are kind of being directed by uh, the Coast Guard. This, they're on the cutter here, uh, kind of directing uh, the operation for the security. That's kind of their home base right there. And this is still the dolly kind of locked in here. And we kind of zoomed in here on the bridge and you can almost, almost make out personnel up on the bridge through the window of the dolly, that dolly crew still on board. The big thing today was this device. That is a shear that is hanging from the crane. Now, yesterday's video, we saw the big hydraulic crane, uh, or I shouldn't say crane excavator with that shear on the end of it cutting up metal on the barge. But today we got to see the thing in this thing in action hanging from a crane. This is a remotely operated shear being used by the crane. It was most fascinating to listen to the coordination with the team. Alright, you want to make the first cut? I'm not sure if I'm over that, uh, that lip on the other side. I don't think he was, but I think this is what we got. We might have taken it a couple times. Go ahead, close it. Close it. Close it. Stop opening. Alright, I tried to close that thing again. Who needs one of those big fancy cameras, you know, you just need a cheap pair of binoculars and an iPhone. All right, open it here. Coming back on deck. Yeah, we'll come on back on deck and change the direction. Uh, Roger. Got under now, then he's still at 280 or whatever. Roger. Are you comfortable sticking it up a little more just so we get a little more into that other chain before we try to cut this other piece? Roger. That is just not falling behind. I'm right, coming up on the main. Like rotated, 
I, I don't even think it would come out that way, Billy. Like this, it, we'd almost have to rotate it clockwise, like probably 45 degrees for it to roll out of there. It's, it's in there. Are we backed up enough? Well, you can see just the type of coordination necessary to get that metal cut. And it was a lot of trouble trying to work that thing out. of It was twisted and bent so badly. Uh, you could hear the guys uh, working it back and forth, uh, trying to get it freed from other pieces of metal that were hung up around it. It was, it was quite the job. Uh, now, we did pass by the the Cashman dredging operation. And I want you guys to take a look at the size of this clamshell bucket that is on this dredge. You know, we've had some video of this thing working, but right in front of that clamshell is a crane. Oh, huge capacity bucket on this machine. A Navy subsalve was making a pass by. We caught their vessel, and so it was passing by where we were uh, picking up some images. So the Navy is operational there. Yes, right now. Right now. Easy working on me there, guys. That's all I got. Still on the deck, isn't it? Coming down, fellas. Coming down. On the brine, uh, you want to come over here and just push me in while he's uh, tightening up his water? Yep. Hold on. Thank you. Matt. Uh, can you get it? I just tried. Nothing came in. We had a couple guys getting a ride down in the man lift, and then these guys were over in the trade point area. Looked like they were setting cribbing down on the barge. Uh, timbers for, looks like maybe moving something large and heavy. Uh, they, they were they were working for quite, quite a while uh, with the forklift and uh, with the crane moving these pieces over. And we got a little image or two of that operation. All in all, we're hoping for a little better, clearer weather for the rest of the weekend. It's a gray day again today, and uh, we're excited to be able to bring you guys these images. If you haven't done it yet, click on that subscribe link, give us a thumbs up, and most of all, hey, we want you guys to be safe out there.